Hi everyone. I just wanted to speak a little bit today about an area or areas that some of you might have gone through, some of you might ha not have. But I think that what is in common is that after we go something through something and we have made a choice to do what we do is how our lives change and how we transform to become uh, people that are using um, a lot of themselves that they weren't using before in a positive way. So I wanted to say that here, like what happened was, it was very, very horrible situation where little Joan, her name was Joan Angela D'Alessandro, that's my name, and my name is Rosemary. And what happened was she delivered cookies, the Girl Scout cookies, to my neighbor across the street, three houses down, when she was seven years old. And it was something how here it was, she was going to deliver the Girl Scout cookies to my neighbor. And in fact, he was a school teacher too. And she never came back. And here it is, I'm the last one to see her and say goodbye to her. And she says, goodbye, mommy, I'll be right back. And, you know, life just changed. Uh, she never came back and uh, she had been sexually assaulted and she was murdered not only once but twice so his goal was to destroy her and to give himself power and a lot of times what i've seen is is i mean this is complete evil the person choosing to do complete evil and how that evil is is like um, like fueled by power. That's what the evil wants: power, dominance. It wants uh, to be in charge of of whatever whatever he decides to. And it could be a little child. It could be an adult. It could be a country. And so it incorporates the same thing where the evil, the wickedness, the person chooses, he chooses that and to like um, to satisfy himself or herself and, and feel I am the most powerful, I am you know better than anyone, even even. God, if you believe in God, and it's so, so, so much, so dominant, and it doesn't matter, you know, how much a child or another person is hurt. And we see it right now, you know, with the war in Ukraine and how evil works, and it's a choice, and how people are suffering. So Joan suffered a tremendous amount. It happened that it was Holy Thursday, and Holy Thursday in certain religions, and that was my religion too, certain faiths, very big day, uh, the day that the, uh, of the Last Supper, and lots of paintings are, um, are portrayed of you know, Jesus in the Last Supper. And then she was found three days later in the mountains and I live in, in Hillsdale, New Jersey, and she was found up in Harriman State Park, which was near the Stony Point area. And uh, that was on Easter Sunday. So Easter was yesterday, right? And um, she died at around three o'clock and found on Easter, like at about one, so, uh, you know, my
My choice was not to let him control us anymore, uh, was to uh, think of Joan, her suffering, so mine could never be the same. Uh, also, my faith. Um, let's see what else. So many things that gave me strength and made me make the decision, the choice I did. Um, it had to have um, like something positive come out of it. So here we had laws, and um, one of them is on the federal level. There's one in New York State. There are two in New Jersey, and in fact, three in New Jersey. And um, they, Jones Law, for, and for instance, has to do with no parole ever for people that sexually assault and murder or even if there could be, you know, just murder, murder person, and, well, murder a child under 14. So now we had it um, raised to, uh, like expanded to, um, to 18, to all, so all minors are, you know, are in it. Now, I did it all, I had no idea, you know, how to do a law, and I did it grassroots, so if you, you know, want to get a law through, and if I can help you, you know, please get in contact with me. You could go on to our website, jonesjoy.org, and get a lot of information there, and a way to contact me also. Because I think, like, when we work together, you know, for a positive purpose, that's the way society changes. You know, the area I do is one area, the area you do is another area, the area another person does is another area, and it gets bigger and bigger for good, for good, for positive, and for hope, for standing up and helping people, even though it's hard and it could harm you. But we're seeing how, you know, to fight for the, for in the right way, like, with the war in Ukraine, I mean, these people are such an inspiration to me, and I hope they are to you. I mean, they have the, they have this fighting attitude. They want to get justice. They believe in hope. They're not losing hope, and and we here as people, in our homes and all, and with our different circumstances, you know, I think every little thing that we do can help them. So I know with me, what I did besides, you know, such prayers um, is to, we have a grotto outside the church grounds here in Hillsdale of St. John the Baptist, and it has a Blessed Mother and it has, it has Joan's picture, but people could go there 24 seven, doesn't matter, you know, if you, what faith you have, even if you don't have faith, you know, it's people just, trying to get a grasp of hope. And um, what I did there was put a lot of like pamphlets, like say prayer pamphlets, and if people want to take one, you know, to, to like so we could act in unity, you know, to help. Then I know that another person, uh, this was one of my children, and he, he gave $5, because that's what he could afford. And he was saying, telling me this yesterday on Easter. And then, you know, like, there's so many areas, everybody. Um, tomorrow is Joan's anniversary, and she died, like I said, on Holy Thursday, but it was April 19th. So, with us, we remember Joan, Holy Thursday, Easter, April 19th. But April 19th is, is like, is, is really the day that it happened. Um, let's see. What we do, we visit her at the cemetery and we bring a white rose. What you do, if you have a circumstance where, you know, you have this relationship 
with a person that died or you have this um, these feelings with your heart you know you know what you do I don't know what you do but you could share it with me if you like I would like to know what you do um, there is a documentary coming out it'll be coming out soon and we will see that we will have the screening it, it took three years and I don't know I haven't seen it so that is hopefully something I hope it has the message of 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 light of like of, uh, of brightness of, of hope but still the reality of the pain you need to go through because I found out this is what I saw like you need to go through pain. You not you ha you can't squash it down. You got to deal with it, and you find a way to deal with it. You know. And with me, it was like, like I always joke about it, but God was my psychiatrist, and um, you know, I felt like I wasn't alone, even though I was alone a lot of times. You know, like um, in this, like you know, with. Uh, with my family, you know, with most of my family. Um, but you know what? Um, I still was able, you know, to, um, you know, to feel strong, you know, with God's help. So with you, you know, just, I'm just telling you, the more you could deal with it, the more you could deal with the reality, and the more you could have like um, a message of love, you know, shown through your heart and the way you talk and what you do for others, uh, it will, I think it will free you. I know it freed me. I hope it will free you. I don't want to see you um, having to suffer more. And you suffer more when you don't deal with it because, I mean, if it's something like, say, you know, so extreme, and even, you know what, everyone, even if it isn't, you know, and and it's your soulmate or someone that, you know, that gives you such pain that they left, you know, this earth now, uh, just, um, just try to deal with it. And that's easy to say, you know, when you're not, you're in a different place, but, uh, you know, Maybe, you know, we could talk about it. Maybe um, there's something you could see that gives you a sign of hope. Because I always like to look for signs. And I remember uh, eight years after, um, it was like, let's see, uh, eight years after I had gone to the site where Joan was, was found, and I hadn't gone there, um, that was only twice I had gone there. And, uh, you know, it was, it was like a lot for me to go there. And then finally I did. And then when I did go there, it was like so amazing. And I did, I did have fear, you know? I, I was scared. I was, it was overpowering. But I did go, and then eight, eight years later that I went again, and I couldn't go those eight years because at that time, see, I have myasthenia gravis and it fluctuates. And mine is mild to moderate, but at that time, that was a little more than moderate. So I didn't have the strength, you know, to really go out much. But then when I went out, and um, this was in 2006, uh, guess what? Behind the two boulders, where she was, she was found in, in a crevice, two pole, the boulders make, and up on the hill, there was the back of these two boulders because they were high, and I'm coming up the hill, and I was the first one to be coming up, and at that time I could come up the hill. Um, right now I wouldn't be able to come up the hill, but then I was, and guess what I saw? I saw something white flying, and I thought it was a moth, because I did not know that cabbage whites, which are white butterflies, existed. And there was this white 
this white fluttering butterfly. And then from then, I knew that, you know, I was going to be her voice because Joan was telling me something. You know, I need you to be my voice to share what I want to be shared, you see? So anyway, um, I'm her voice. <laughs> sometimes a good voice, sometimes a tired voice, sometimes a crying voice, uh, sometimes a happy voice, joyful voice. But you know what? Um, I'm so thankful that I could do it. So for now, what I'm going to do is leave you. Um, tomorrow, I'll be going to visit Joan at the cemetery. Um, if you, you know, want to say a prayer or let me know that you're saying a prayer, that would be wonderful. And, um, and let me know if I could say some prayers for what you need, okay? So, you know, bless you all. So long for now. Take care. Okay, bye-bye. Ha, ha, ha.